consulado. I'm going to be speaking in Spanish. Which <laughs> she's Quesada, we all be speaking in English, so you have a, an Bells. idea of what are we doing today. But welcome, welcome to the consulate, and thank you for, for being here. Okay. Eh, hoy vamos a firmar un acuerdo que para nosotros es de suma importancia. Estamos el consulado colaborando con el Orange County Human Trafficking Task Force, pero es muy importante este memorando de entendimiento porque cada vez que nosotros ponemos algo en papel eh, es algo que perdura, es algo que ya eh, por escrito está que vamos a estar juntos colaborando en una contra un flagelo, contra un problema que es muy grave, que nosotros quisiéramos que no existiera, que nosotros pensaríamos que en tiempos como los actuales no existe y sin embargo sigue habiendo esta problemática de tráfico humano, que es lo que muchos conocen como la esclavitud moderna, que realmente es un horror y tenemos todos que estar juntos para tratar de acabar con ello. Y sí, como mucha gente dice, es muy difícil eh, porque está muy expandido y es el crimen organizado, por eso es organizado, pero yo creo que mientras más hagamos todos sumando fuerzas para ir en contra de problemáticas tan graves como esta, mayores logros vamos a tener. Por eso para mí es muy importante hoy contar con la presencia de la policía que sabe de Anaheim, eh, del, del, del Departamento de Policía de Anaheim. Vamos a ver. Señor, Y por eso estamos tan, tan, tan contentos y de que algo así se pueda hacer el día de hoy realidad, porque además lo hemos trabajado mucho y sé que Loreta ha estado muy al pendiente y maneja muy bien las relaciones, pero mientras más unidos y mejor coordinados estemos, estoy segura que vamos a tener éxito para prevenir este flagelo tan horrible que es Muchas gracias por estar aquí. Everyone for being here. This is truly a uh, huge day for us with the Anaheim Police Department to be able to part partner with the Mexican Council. Uh, we recognize, just like the uh, Alejandro just mentioned, the partnership with respect to human trafficking. This is something that we would have believed stopped a long, long time ago. In reality, this continues in, in modern ages, just in a different fashion. By partnering with the Mexican Council, Council, we are hoping to reduce, ultimately hoping to stop what is going on. Our victims uh, are true victims, and it truly, truly needs to stop. So we are very excited to be here. We are always looking for uh, partners to, to do whatever we can in a more organized and uh, the ability to maximize our resources together to basically prevent this from occurring again. So with that, again, we are very, representing the Anaheim Police Department, the city of Anaheim, we are very, very proud to be here and to be able to join in this uh, agreement. Thank you. I thank you all of you for being here because I know you also are a big part of this task force. Thank you to you all for being part of this great effort. So here we go. No, nada más es, 
exactamente, ¿no? Como se quiénes son parte, no sé si está en el... Está en el boletín. Está en el boletín. Está en el boletín. Aunque okay, yo no tengo parte porque es importante que todos sepan, ¿no? tenemos copia del boletín. Ahorita. Ahorita, sí. Porque así son varias las organizaciones que están involucradas en este grupo de trabajo, por lo cual, por lo que para el consulado es sumamente importante, porque si no es por uno, es por otro, pero todos de alguna manera podemos enterarnos si llega la víctima al consulado, si llega la víctima por cualquier otro de los canales, estamos juntos y cooperando todos y fluye la información. Es por eso que es muy relevante para el consulado ser parte de este grupo, que de hecho no lo habíamos, eh, digamos, puesto en papel, pero cooperamos con ellos desde el día que yo llegué aquí, eh, estamos cooperando. Con, eh, con este grupo de trabajo no es nuevo digamos que lo nuevo es que haya un memorándum firmado donde dice exactamente y se estipula cuáles van a ser nuestras actividades y obviamente lo principal es cooperar transmitir información coordinarnos y juntarnos cuando así se requiera por un caso ¿alguien más? ¿dudas? ¿preguntas? ¿comentarios? Yo de antemano quiero darle las gracias porque si las organizaciones se están reuniendo, también nosotros podemos colaborar juntos. Y gracias por lo que están haciendo. Como sobreviviente, yo lo agradezco. Sí, ¿qué es la importancia para ti y para Pati? Es un gran problema para signar este memorándum. ¿Y qué es la importancia de la policía con el Consejo de Mexican Council de Fútbol de Santana? Uh, first of all, we have, as you mentioned, we've been working together. This is basically formalizes the process, the ability uh, to work with the Mexican Council, even though we've done it informally in the past. Uh, the benefit with us is we, uh, it allows us to, to reach out further uh, to any other victims who are not part of our existing group. Through the Mexican Council, we, we are aware there are 300 plus people who show up to this building every day. So the ability to communicate that even to one or two people who may choose to to take the information, who may be victims themselves, and say, I'm aware of this, the Mexican Council has the information, we want, we want help, and now they now have the information. It's a great partnership. I'll say something about that. I'm from the Salvation Army, and most of the time we have a victim of human trafficking, they have a little bit more complex problems mm -hmm. than the average immigrant, mm -hmm. and so oftentimes we're calling Loretta, the protection office, help me, and it's a we need help on that backside because it's really complicated. So having the relationship, it's comforting for us. I know I can call Loretta and I know she'll help. And to add to that, from the public law center, provide the legal services to the victims, uh, immigration services in particular. And um, Loretta and the consulate have referred victims that they have identified yeah. themselves. Yeah. Um, to us, and then I was able to serve them and then pass them off to law enforcement if they needed to report the crime and or to social services for social services.
in press release. In the press release, we have all the agencies mm -hmm. that are taking part in this. Agustino, we also very useful because we speak very good Spanish. This is true. That's all he's going to write now. One of my first cases I learned what fue was really fast. I was trying to figure out how to say judge. But this is now you know when you're learning. You're learning, yes. You know, they are, my name is Francisco Barragan. I'm with the Human Trafficking Survivors Foundation. And I'm also the commander of a veterans organization here in, the, in, uh, in Orange County. Uh, it actually gives me great pleasure that the Mexican consulate is partnering with law enforcement because we're in the Human Trafficking Survivors Foundation. We're uh, about preventing violence or preventing the human trafficking. But a lot of that prevention will also occur when the community sees law enforcement and representatives of the citizens working together. So, thank you for doing that, and me da mucho gusto que están haciendo esto, uh, señora Consul, y aquí con la, el consulado mexicano, porque es sumamente importante que siempre colaboren, y, y me da gusto y agradezco también en la colaboración, como han, nos han ayudado nosotros también con la Fundación sobre el Tráfico Humano, ya sea en casos de violencia, y recientemente, en, desafortunadamente, con la Sargento Maribel Ramos, que fue encontrada muerta, pero el apoyo a ustedes... Fue fenomenal. Sabemos que no es de tráfico humano, pero es un caso de violencia. Y eso ayudó mucho al, al sanamiento de la familia, uh, porque la hermana de ella, que nunca había estado en los Estados Unidos, uh, tenía una hermana menor de 30 años que no pudo visitar y pudo hacerlo esta vez. Así que gracias. Se lo agradezco. Sí, 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 es un caso muy desafortunado. Sí. Pero bueno, penosamente nos toca ver esos casos. ¿no? Sí. I would love not to have any kind of cases. Like that, no? I would like for the department of Loreto to disappear. I like her very much. <laughs> but you know, we can use her in so many other ways. But well, our reality is this. So we need to stick together and we need to continue yes. our efforts. You know, the, uh, back in uh, uh, February, March, we also had a case from a, a, uh, a young mother from Mexico who was attacked well, with acid. and. Uh, we actually partnered up with an agency from Mexico, it's called Pro Victima. I understand it was before under the PGR, or Correa General de la República, which is the equivalent of the DA. And uh, fue la grande la ayuda también que nos dieron, y, uh, y eso ayudó a traerla acá. So we were able to bring her into the U.S. again, just cooperation between agencies and the support we got from uh, Customs Board Protection. And even, and even also, the, uh, we understand that they got a lot of help in, trying, in expediting her paperwork the passport. So again, you know, there's a, I'm glad to see, we're glad to see, you know, the, uh, you know, law enforcement and, and the other representatives working together because we, we rely on you guys for the support too. So thank you. And we're going to have them, we're going to have them if possible coming once a month whenever we have the public here. Mm -hmm. Then you know that we have people giving little talk. And we, we're, we're going to invite the police. Excellent, excellent. As, as we invite the police here in Santa Ana and also all the organizations to come here and talk a little bit for a while, five minutes, four minutes, whenever they are waiting here for their passports. Because you know mm -hmm. that it's not easy for someone just to come and say, yes, I'm, I'm a bit. But they know someone there. Mm -hmm. is, there is someone to help them. They take a little paper or but they know they can return. Mm -hmm. As they have done many times. Yeah. They, don't, they don't say anything because they can come with the aggressor. So they keep still. But whenever they can, they come. Yeah. So when they know, we are able to help them. Yeah. So it's important. Having someone here from the police once in a while and also from all the organizations, it's very, very important that they know that they are going to support them. Yeah, and it's actually very right about that because one uh, case that we had you know, the, uh, Juan, and I can say her name because she feels comfortable saying that we should talk about her. Juanita Lopez, uh, she was a victim of violence and she was afraid of speaking up. People would recommend her, her to go to law enforcement, but she did not feel comfortable. She was able to uh, talk to Virginia. Virginia convinced her because of her own story and she spoke up. So having law enforcement here is part of the solution because then people will feel comfortable approaching and realizing that, you know what, regardless of the, uh, the legal status here, Right, immigration status, there's help. Whether it's the U visa or T visa, and, and thank you again, Monica, because I know you've been helpful 
we came and presented to our members and uh, in the communities through the PLC. So that's extremely important. That Absolutely. when people feel comfortable approaching the agencies, especially law enforcement, that's when we can help, help prevent some of this. So thank you. And we are more than welcome. Sorry, we are more than happy. Well, I hope we're welcome. Yeah. Uh, we are more than happy uh, to attend meetings mm -hmm. okay. with the community. We try and outreach as best we can in Anaheim. And it's just we're just a phone call away. If you are interested in having somebody from the police department come out and do a presentation, absolutely. Because Thank we you. do. We've got to tear down those walls. Yeah. And, and, and the only way we can work with uh, the community members is they have to trust us. Without that Excellent. trust, we have none. Excellent. So we've got to rebuild that trust. And the immigration status has nothing to do with our services we provide. We've got the Orange County Family Justice Center. Mm -hmm. We're there. We've got many, many representation, organ representing organizations there. So absolutely. Whatever Thank we you. can do. Yeah. So we applaud you. I mean, so thank you. thank you. I mean, I mean both of you guys. Thank you.